I brought out the big glass today. Uh, why? Because I'm going to talk to you about Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, Cabernet Sauvignon is one of the world's most popular red varieties. It's got amazing re name recognition. Now, where does it come from? It's a cross, interestingly enough, between Cabernet Franc, which is regarded as a, maybe as a lighter version of Cabernet Sauvignon, and a white grape Sauvignon Blanc. Somehow, these two got together and produced one of the world's most powerful grape varieties. Power in what sense? Lots of fruit flavors, uh, dark flavor, dark fruits like cassis, blackberry, black cherry, plum. Uh, you get sometimes green pepper notes, you get tobacco notes sometimes as well. The beauty about Cabernet Sauvignon uh, from a grape grower perspective is that it grows relatively easily. All you really need is the right climate. It's not very particular in terms of soils and it could always pump out something relatively Cabernet. Now, the big question is, do I drink just Cabernet Sauvignon or do I drink blends? The reality is, is that the majority of Cabernet Sauvignon in the world is actually blended. And this is an interesting thing about labeling. Even though it says Cabernet Sauvignon, by law, in places like California, it only needs to be 75% cab. This bottle here from Arrowwood is 95% Cabernet with 2% Merlot and 3% Cabernet Franc. Why? Despite Cabernet being able to produce these really powerful wines, really long-lived wines. One of its faults, if you want, is that in the mid-palate, it tends to get sometimes a little bit thin. We call it the donut effect. So that's why Merlot and Cabernet Franc is used, because what it does is it fills that mid-palate with a certain amount of richness. Now, Cabernet Sauvignon, what do you drink it with? It is, because of its tannins and its powerful flavors, the ultimate steak wine. Uh, roast beef goes magnificent with lamb, especially lesser ripe versions like those from Bordeaux, where you have this kind of green element, which, which and a minty note, if you want, that tends to mix nicely with meats. So there you go. Cabernet Sauvignon comes from two softer grapes to produce one really big, powerful wine. Cheers.